Hey there, welcome back. So today we're gonna finally get our stars to work. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take a look at my score manager script. So I'm gonna go into my base game scripts here and I'm gonna open up score manager. And I've already made some notes to myself just to make sure that this would work, but I'm just gonna go through them with you here. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna have a reference to know how many scores the level currently has. So I'm gonna call that a, uh, well, it doesn't need to be public, we'll make it private. Int, and this is gonna be number stars. Uh, once we do that, we then wanna take a look at our increase score method. And what we wanna do in here is we want to take a look at how many current score goals there are. Uh, in general, I've been using three, but you might want to use fewer or more. So we want to look at how many score goals we have. We want to iterate over them with a for loop. And then if uh, our current score is greater than uh, one of the scores that we haven't already checked, then we want to increase the number of stars. We also then want to save our data um, when we uh, exit the game. So let's do that. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to say for integer i0, i is less than, and I want it to be the score goals currently, which can be found in the board script, board.scoregoals.length. So I'm going to look over all of the score goals, uh, i++. Plus plus. And what I want to do then is I want to say if the current score is greater than board dot score goals and the score goal I want to look at is I the current one that we're looking at in the loop um, and so we don't always want to be increasing we only want to be increasing if our number of scores is less than um, whichever score goal we're looking at so we're gonna say number of stars is less than i plus one so like for example if we don't have any stars but we have enough for the first goal right so in that case i would be zero we're going to check to see if score is greater than the first score goal and if it is less than zero and the number of stars is less than one then we're going to increase our stars to be one so to do that in here i'm just going to say number stars plus plus uh, okay, and then in here we're saving our data. I initially was going to do this in here, but it's probably not the best idea. So instead, uh, I'm going to create a new little method that is going to save our stars when we um, do application quit. So I'm going to do a void on application quit. Um, we can do this actually probably application pause. That'd be fine too. So when we pause the application, what I want to do is I want to do grab the game data. Um, actually, let's make sure that game data isn't null first. So if game data is not null, then we're going to say game data dot save data dot stars. And the part of the stars we want to grab is our current level. So we're going to do board.level. Uh, we're going to set this equal to our current number of stars. And then after we do that, we're going to save our information. So game data dot save. Um, OK, cool. So uh, I'm going to save my script here really quickly. And let's try this out. So I've manipulated my data here. I'll show you what I did as soon as I hit play. Once, it, once it's done thinking, this play should go through just fine. So if we look at my game data, I've made it so that I have no high scores. I have 27 levels, and I'll explain why that is in the next video. The only element I have active is element 0, which is the first level. And I have 27 and 0 stars. So I'm going to... Click play to move on to my level select. I'll select level one, high score, number of stars. Uh, I'm gonna play. I still haven't fixed that on this one, uh, and that's because I haven't fixed it on the 
scriptable object, but uh, that's easy to fix. So I'm just going to quickly uh, reach my incredibly easy level goal here. Cool. And I win. And I press OK. Oh, aha, that's why. I have it on application quit, which means it didn't save my number of stars. If I look at my game data here, uh, it didn't actually change my star number. So I need to move where I'm doing that. So let me jump over to my thingy thing again, my script. And so I'm doing on application pause. One second here. Okay, sorry about that weird cut. So what I'm going to do, there's no on-scene load anymore, so I will just take this and put it where I'm saving my score anyway. So I'm just going to grab this here. Uh, I'm going to cut it out. And where I'm saving my high score, so right here, I'm going to paste that there, and I'll grab this game data dot save. Take that out, and I'll leave that alone. And I don't actually have to do this if game data isn't null, so because I already have a null check above it. So I will just get rid of this really, really fast here. Okay, so now this is in my increase score method. So I'm checking to see if game data isn't null. Uh, if it's not null, then I have my high score. If my current score is higher than my high score, then I'm going to save that. I'm also going to save my stars. So, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this little method here I made. And let's test this out. So I'm going to go back into Unity. And when I hit play, I'm going to clear out that game data really quickly. It'd be easier if I just made myself a little button that cleared the game data, but I'm just going to do it this way. So for my high scores, I'm going to have that be zero. So I have no high scores saved and I have no stars saved. And for is active, I just want the first one active. So um, let's try this out. It's going to have the second one active because that got active right away, but it's, it's fine. So I'm going to hit play. Um, let's go OK. And then I'm just going to play my super easy level. The one that it's very hard not to win here. Um, we might need to fast forward though because there's not enough grays on here. But, uh, oh, okay, cool, there we go. All right, so I got my level one. Huh, still didn't save. All right, hold on one second. Okay, so here's what I was doing. I have a problem with my logic. I was only going to save the stars if my, so I, I had that game data dot save data all that stuff. That was only if my score was greater than my high score. So um, outside of that, but still inside here where I'm checking if it's not null and before I save it, I'm going to say game data dot save data. Um, actually, let's make sure that we're only doing this if our number of stars is higher than what it has recorded. So I'm going to create an integer for, we'll call this current stars and that's going to be equal to game data dot save data dot stars and we want to get the stars from our current level so from board dot level and then we're going to say if number stars is greater than current stars then we're going to do something uh, what we're going to do is grab the game data dot save data dot stars for board.level and we're going to set that equal to number stars. Okay, cool. So that logic should be fine. Uh, let's make sure here. So I'm going to go play and reset my game data really fast before I do anything else here. So with my game data, I'm going to make only the first one active. My score is back to zero. And my stars are all set to zero. Cool. I'm going to save that because it saves when I quit. And hit play. So let's test this out. So we got our first level, zero stars. And let's give it a try here. 
So, do, do, do. I might need to fast forward this really quickly just so that you guys can see what's going on. So, I'll meet you back here. Okay, so here we are again. So, I'm going to hit play, or okay. And it did not record any stars. What the heck, James? Okay, sorry about that. So, <laughs> I just forgot to save my script, that's all. So, in here in my score manager, I didn't change anything. I still have if game data isn't null, all the high score stuff was, was as, is as it was. My current stars are equal to game data save data stars from the board dot level. My number, and then I'm checking to see if number of stars is greater than current stars. If that's true, then I'm going to change the save data's number of stars for this level to be equal to the current number of stars, and then I'm going to save it. Uh, so, if I go back into Unity here, let me make sure my script is saved one more time. Alright, it is. If I go back into Unity here, man, I'm in, uh, in GD script, I'm, I'm uh, leaving semicolons half the time, and in Unity now I'm forgetting to save my scripts. I don't know what's wrong with me. So if we hit play here, we're going to have our uh, option to play. Level 1, we'll play that. Click OK. And um, we'll just play this level really fast. I'll fast forward through this so you don't have to watch me play terribly. Just come on now. There we go. That was weird. Um, okay, yeah, so... Do-do-do. Do-do-do. do-do-do um <laughs> okay there we go so levels over press ok I got three stars and the next level is open so um yeah if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the description down below you can follow me on twitter to find out when I post new videos you can join me in my discord where I've been chatting much more often lately um, yeah, otherwise, have yourselves a wonderful day.